dear students, good morning. How are you? I'm glad to be here with you again. Today, we are going to start period number three. What you are going to do in this moment is rotulate period number three on your notebook. In order you can identify what are the contents we are going to study during this period. And let me tell you something. I wish you the best of the best for this period. I know you are going to have success in all the activities that you are going to present to your teachers, okay? And we are going to start in this moment. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Now, I'm going to present you the agenda that I have for today's class. The first one is welcome. Second, social emotional content. Next, content. Then we have our objective, reflection, content development, and at last we have questions and answers. Let's continue. Here's a little song I wrote You might want to sing it note for note Don't worry Be happy In every life we have some trouble But when you worry you make it double Don't worry Be happy don't worry, be happy. Can I give you my phone number when you worry, call me and you happy. Don't worry, be happy. content subject versus object questions with past simple now we are going to continue with our content development for that we are going to use this book a student's book and also we are going to need our practice book why because then we are going to continue working on some exercises related with the content we are going to study right now okay what are the materials you are going to use your student's book, your practice book, your pen, your pencil, marker, eraser. These are the materials you are going to use in order to complete the activities on these books. Now, we are going to start with a student's book, page number 40. Page number 40. Are you ready? This is the page in which we are going to start working right now. Page number 40. Then we have, I'm going to play the audio and you are going to identify the information, but I'm going to help you too. Okay, también yo les voy a ayudar, no se me preocupen. I'm going to play the audio, les voy a poner el audio, pero también yo les voy a ir ayudando. Okay, and we have in here, listen and complete the fact files. Listen and complete the fact files. That is the, the instruction for the first activity. And we have eco homes around the world. Eco homes around the world. Uh, what is an eco home? Do you know what is an eco home? What is an eco home? Casas ecológicas. De eso vamos a hablar ahora, verdad? Casas ecológicas. That is the meaning of eco home. Okay. Then we have in here the fat files that you are gonna complete according to the audio. Okay, and we have earth ship, earth ship. Location, New Mexico and New Mexico and I'm gonna help you, but you are gonna participate too. Participate. New Mexico and United States. Write this. We have New Mexico, that is the location, New Mexico and 
United States. Okay, very good. Then, designer, builder. ¿Quién construyó este tipo de casa? Designer or builder. Michael Reynolds. Michael Reynolds. What are the materials that he used? The materials. Automobile. Next one. Tires. Tires. En aluminium. En aluminium. Aluminium. Cans. Cans. Okay, here we have. This information was related with the first fact file. Earthship. Now we are going to continue with the second um, fact file. And this is related with Strauhaus. Strauhaus. Location. The price and... Scotland, Scotland, okay, designer, builder, designer, builder, Steve James, what are the materials, materials, 200, 200 straw bales, 200, straw bales okay the last fat files that is number three we say house of plastic bottles can you imagine to live in a house like this te imaginan vivir en una de esas casas do you like what is your favorite home or what is your favorite house according to these fat files cuál es tu casa favorita con esos materiales que hemos mencionado you are going to mention some of them. Okay, very good. Then, house of plastic bottles. Location. What is the location? Iguazu Falls. Iguazu Falls and... And... What is the other location? Argentina. 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 This is the other location. Okay, Argentina. Then we say, designer, builder designer builder Alfredo Alfredo Santa Cruz Alfredo Santa Cruz materials what are the materials that he used to build this kind of house mm -hmm. 1200 1000 200 plastic bottles. Can you imagine this amount of bottles that he used? Se pueden imaginar ese, ese montón de, de botellas que utilizó, pero lo bueno que fueron recicladas y no se fueron a la basura, ¿verdad? Ok, 1,200 plastic bottles. Then we say 1,300 juice cartoons and... 140, 140 CD boxes, okay? These are some materials that we can have at home and we can use them in order to build this kind of houses, if we can, right? Okay, very good. Then, this is the, this is the um, complement for activity number one. Now we are going to continue with activity number two. That is sex. Read, circle, and number the answers. You have two options. You are going to choose the correct one. According to this one. We are, in the, we are on this exercise. Exercise two. Okay. I'm going to repeat again. Read, circle, and number the answers. Number one. Who invented or who built the Temple Mayor in Mexico City? What is the correct verb you are going to use in number one built this is number one this is the correct option in sentence number one built built take notes okay very good 
Number two. Who invented or who built the internet? Who invented or who built the internet? The correct one is invented. 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 Okay? The last. Who painted or who invented the Mona Lisa? I suppose everybody knows the correct verb, right? And there is painted. Painted. Okay? This is the correct option for this. And now we are going to answer these questions. Who built the Temple Mayor in Mexico City? The Aztecs did. ¿Qué quiere decir? Los Aztecas lo hicieron, ¿verdad? The Aztecs did. That is number one. That is the answer for question number one. Question number two. Who invented the internet? Tim Berners-Lee did. Okay. And the last question. Who painted the Mona Lisa? Who painted the Mona Lisa? Leonardo da Vinci did. Leonardo da Vinci. Everybody knows this information about Mona Lisa. This is an, a famous painting, right, that you can find in, in different places around the world. And the um, painter was Leonardo da Vinci. This is all for this page. Now we are going to continue with practice book. Now, boys and girls, open your practice book, page number 36. This is the page in which we are going to start working right now. 36, then we are going to complete page number 37. Here we have the main content for these activities. Are you bored of the place where you live? If the answer is yes, take a look at these fantastic houses and start planning your new life. You are gonna read and match the paragraphs with the corresponding pictures. I have in here the correct order for these pictures. What you have to do is take notes. And also, we are going to read together the information for each house. Okay? Let's start with number one. Number one says, In, Man in Madmata, Tunisia, you can live under the ground. The Berber people dig large pits in the ground and then excavate smaller caves around the sites to use as subterranean houses. These houses are famous because they appeared in Star Wars as Luke Skywalker home. This is related with this picture, letter E. Now we are going to continue with the next house. Number two. Do you enjoy making a snowman and skin? The Greenland is the place for you. The unit people of Greenland made charming snow houses called igloos. Don't worry about the cold too, because even though it's sometimes 45 degrees Celsius in the winter, in a igloo, in an igloo, sorry, it can be as warm as 16 degrees Celsius. Important information, right? The next one, number three. If you like water, this is a place for you. In Masbumel, the Netherlands, there are beautiful modern floating homes. They float on huge concrete cubes and have flexible tubes to receive water and electricity. This is the house. Okay? Then, number four. If you want to be part of nature, you can live with the Kumbai tribe of Papua New Guinea. They build houses in trees up to 20 meters above the forest floor. Interesting, right? And the last one is, would you like a place with spectacular views? There are some amazing monasteries 
In the mountains near Meteora, Greece, monks build them on the top of a column of rocks. And you don't have to worry about unweighted visitors. The only way in or out is by ropes, knits, or baskets. What do you think about this information? It's interesting, right? It's interesting to know different kind of information. What is your favorite house according to this information? What is your favorite? Okay, take notes. Tomen nota, chicos. Acá los, se los dejo. Okay. In order to complete the last activity for this page, that it says, read and circle true or false, you are going to read, again, this information. And you are going to circle true or false to the following exercises. According to number one, the Berber people live in caves. That is false. Circle false. Number two, the temperature in igloos can be 45 degrees Celsius. True. True. Number three, the flooring houses are made partly from concrete. True. Number four, the houses of the Kumbai tribe are 20 meters above the trees. True. Five, the monasteries in Meteora have stairs to reach them. That is false. Okay, this is related with page number 36. In order to continue with page number 36 of your practice book, that is the page in which you are going to work in this moment. Here we have the content that we already studied, that is subject questions with past simple. The first activity consists on unscrambled equations. As you can see here, we have four equations that you are going to unscramble. Let's start with equation number one. Number one is who. Remember, we are going to use who at the moment to ask questions. Why? Because we are talking about subject questions. Who is the first one. Then we are going to add the verb, that is walked, who walked on the moon in 1965. This is the first question. And here we have the answer, that, that was Neil Armstrong. Number two, remember to take notes. Number two is, who, here we have, built, is the verb that we are going to write here, who built the pyramids of Giza? The answer is the ancient Egyptians. Number three. Remember, we are going to use who. Why? Because we are talking about people, names. Por esa razón utilizamos who cuando nos referimos a personas. Who climbed Mount Everest in 1953. And the last one, who invented frozen food in 1924? The answer is Clarence Versailles. Take notes. I'm going to give you some seconds in order you can take notes on your notebook. In this case, in your book, practice book. Vamos a tomar nota de los ejercicios ya resueltos. I'm going to give you some seconds. Les voy a dar unos segunditos para que lo puedan realizar. The last activity for this book, that is number two, complete the conversations. Here we have this picture. Here we are going to say... Who painted this picture? This is the complement for question number one. Who painted this picture? And here we have the answer. Picasso painted it. Okay? Now we are going to continue with number two. 
display. Here we are going to write. Now we have question number two. Here we have. Who wrote this play? ¿Quién escribió este importante libro? Who wrote this play? Shakespeare wrote it. Okay, here we have. Take notes. Number three. On number three we have. Who designed this cathedral? Who designed this cathedral? Anthony Gaudi designed it. And the last, that is number four, who lived in this city? Who lived in this city? The Incas lived in it. Okay, my dear boys and girls, this is all for today. Thank you for your participation and for your comments that you gave. Okay, have a nice day. See you the next time. Bye-bye. See you.